Join us as we go bikepacking from Georgetown in the north of Malaysia all the way south to Singapore. I may be looking, but I'm not looking this She's bringing us two little pieces. Incredible. The lady loves us. This is the nicest place She's to like, stay. You're cycling to Singapore. She thought about it for a long time. And then we went upstairs to the room, came back down a few hours later, she's like, you're cycling to Singapore. I noticed you've got some of your favorite sweets on today. I've carried these for a week, for a week now. You've been looking forward to them the whole way. I wanna go a little further out. Look at that one. I keep hey, good morning and welcome back to vlog. It is our penultimate day here on the road. Today we've got 107 kilometers to tackle between here and where we're staying tonight, Kalai which allows us on our final day to take it easy with only about 40 or 50 kilometers, I think, and navigate getting into Singapore, all the traffic, all the forms, and all that kind of stuff. Once again, it's very, very hot. We decided to do this trip whilst Malaysia has one of their worst heat waves on record, which is fun. Do you think it's gonna be that hot today? Like yeah. the other day, again. Yes, <laughs> we've had it very easy this morning, haven't we? We have. There's been a lot of clouds, we've got up decent time. Not as early as yesterday or the day before because we've just been getting slower in yeah. the mornings, haven't we? Yeah, we have. I can't, like, I, today was the first day I woke up and I really didn't want to ride. And then when I got going, it was fine, but we've now covered like 40K. Yeah. And we're flying, smooth road, quiet-ish. We just had a bit of a commute special back there. It took us off the nice main road and took us to a dead end for the gravel track and someone's private property, which is always nice. Back on the main road now, we're gonna stick to this because we can be confident we're not gonna get lost. I wanna go a little further out, so I go. It's cheese inside. What? Uh, also, all together. Uh, yeah, all together. And uh, we have one more 60k to go. Flat as. We had a bit of a mess up this morning with the route where I led us down a trail which I, just became... I like, told them. Oh, you told them. <laughs> yeah. So, we stayed on the main road instead, which turned out it, to not be that much of a main road and it's been great. <laughs> We've got so much they they have to come and say hello. We've just seen um, bikepackers for like the first or second time this whole trip over there. They're a bit more heavy laden than we are though. Jim Francis, I haven't finished my chocolate milk. They're going Hanoi to here, to Singapore. They started in Hanoi? Yeah. Whoa. Can you ride harder? <laughs> Come on. While I'm holding on. It's like a, when you go out for a bottle in the car. Oh yeah, I need an electrolyte drink please, Lawrence. Just one. Make it snappy. Those two legends have ridden all the way down from Hanoi, all the way down Vietnam, across to Thailand, all the way down Thailand into Malaysia and then done basically the same route that we've done from the top to the bottom of Malaysia before making it to Singapore. What a trip that would be and it's basically tying together all the trips that we've done or yet to do. Firstly with Project Vietnam, Thailand which we'll do eventually and then this trip but all in one go. Fair play. Find out what it's like. Find out what it's like. Oh you've seen Stonehenge. Oh it's so good. Apple flavor. Why was that guy trying to pay you, mate? He was just trying to give us money for our journey. That's so nice. Some Malaysian money. He's like, have some, have some Malaysian money. Thank His um, family used to uh, study in Southampton. Okay. And now he works in, it was like, I think it was his son, works in Penang Island for so the nice. biggest bank in Malaysia. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> Here we go, guys. Within 5K of where we're staying tonight, that is a relief, let me tell you. Today is the first day I've really struggled with getting the camera out, getting enough shots to make a video. I'm trying to get a bit of training in. I've been doing a couple of sprints along the road. I'm trying to eat and drink enough. Drinking being the hardest bit. But yeah, looking forward to checking into our Ibis now. Deja vu from the first night of this trip. When me and Francis cool down and check in, we're gonna be going through a few of the comments. Almost there, bruv. Oh, please. Oh. Hey, we done well today. We have. 1.30. We've made good time again, haven't we? We can have a little nap again. Oh. Lawrence got back yesterday, curled up in his bed. I was editing, making loads of noise, and the lights were on, and you were just like, whoop, 
like a slug in your duvet. It finally caught up with me. Fucking 300 watts, I don't go anywhere. <laughs> Hotel's there. I couldn't make it. Couldn't make it. Nah. I had too much sugar. Thank you. Too much sugar at the gas station and then just crashed. <laughs> and Lawrence has been like, almost there, almost there. Well, we're staying here. Looks nice. Sweet. We are go. I thought it would be a good idea now we've checked in and had some food downstairs in the posh Ibis. That was the worst food I've eaten all trip. <laughs> it was bad, wasn't it? <laughs> we've had between our channels hundreds and hundreds of comments and they are amazing. Uh, they're really fun to read, so massive thank you. Let's go through a couple. Let's do it. First one is from SSMTB who asks, sorry to be nitpicking, but isn't this more of a tour than it is bikepacking? Oh, I feel like bikepacking is a made up word, so no. It's just a play on backpacking, isn't it? Yeah. So if you're backpacking, you haven't got camp places. So here, you're just putting bags. If a bike is packed, it's bikepacking. Right, next one, uh, Sena. Sena Splurge. What do you film with? The GoPro or the Insta? Two, two, whatever it's called. Oh, me? Yeah. I use this. GoPro Hero 11. I also have a DJI Action 4, which takes longer to turn on when you want to record, which is a bit annoying. So I've ended up using this one. However, the image from the DJI, I think, is a little bit better. And then I also have this for when we're like stopped and I get it out of the bag. You ride with this on your back. I do, yeah. Yeah. Have we just spoil it on a future question? Yeah, that's a future question. <laughs> this is a Sony a ZV-E1 with a good mic on it. My setup is very, very similar. Uh, I don't really use the GoPro because I'm, not, I'm a little bit fussy about how it looks. I use the Insta360. X2. It's an X3. X3. In combination with what I'm filming on now, the A7. Uh, Mark V, I believe, with the same lens as him. Sorens asks, nice trip, nice videos. Where do you store your Sony camera on the bike? Is it accessible whilst you ride? My one's in a pannier 99% of the time, although I do have a good strap, which was an old Inno clip, which has a stabilizer on it. So I can ride with it quite easily. In the heat and stuff, and when you're riding, and you're getting riding footage, I prefer a camera with better stabilization, so iPhone has a zoom as well, or the GoPro. The big camera, you put that on your back. I carry it on my back. It's different kind of shots, isn't it? Because I don't have space <laughs> for it anywhere else. So he refuses to ride panniers because they don't look good enough. Yeah. Jay Cleggie asks, who brings clippers on the bike trip? I don't care how heavy my bike is. He can push me. <laughs> I'm taking all the home comforts. I've done enough of these to know that efficiency at the end of the day, when we're editing videos and hanging out afterwards and when you get to the destination you spend four or five days like hanging out with people either it's in Kuala Lumpur or Singapore at the end I want my stuff also it's over two weeks we're away for Martina Valdrotta what kit are you wearing? was this on my video or yours? Uh, don't know <laughs> and the comments are from both channels he's in ASOS I'm in Atticus the newly released stuff which hasn't been released yet so it's not newly released and I'm in the brand newly released S11 shorts. ZDravo4 asks why you went to Asia for cycling. And he's also asked why we haven't done the Balkans. Well, you've he, done the Balkans. I did the Balkans and I made a film. And he obviously hasn't watched it. So anyone who hasn't seen that, you need to watch it. It's called The Balkans. It should come up. I've also been to the Mediterranean lots as well. Yeah. There's a lot of older trips which you might want to check out. Um, Australia, Vietnam, that is Asia again. Death Valley, the whole way across the USA. But to your question exactly, why Malaysia? Well, it's hot. <laughs> Balkans is not hot right now. Yeah. Um, it's also an amazing country. It's a good value and it has amazing people and we love it here. Mike Menkins has asked, can't get enough of that Amanda ALR. Can we get a gear check episode? It's a fantastic bike. I love riding it. I am surprised. I will do a video very soon when I get back, probably in London, talking through what I liked about it, what I would change on it, all of those things. So stay tuned. Dare de Mont Triple Six, what a name, asks, I'd love to see a video about the sort of dollary do's involved in a trip like this. Maybe I'll do a longer video where I break down all of the different trips, but this one for this segment was the most expensive bit was flights. 
think about a thousand pounds because we were we booked him late. Mine, mine was actually half that, but I flew on a substandard airline that I won't mention. China Air. China Air. <laughs> you can get them much much cheaper. It's booking in advance, usual stuff with flights. However, when you get here. Hotels like 10 quid a night. This Ibis was one of the more expensive ones. The place in Kuala Lumpur, which looked incredible with the infinity pool and all of that. So, some of them were 30 pounds a night. Um, and that's split between three people, or two people in this case. Uh, but when we were with Ben, it becomes very, very affordable. And if you're, you know, you're doing it for two weeks, sometimes these things add up, especially where if you're doing it in America, $100, $100 a night if you want a hotel that doesn't have blood on the wall. It becomes very expensive. Here, yeah, pretty good place with breakfast included for very, very cheap comparatively. And that is all the questions. The final thing I just wanted to mention was this comment from Mr. Jacktan12. He said, it makes me sad that I live in Malaysia and three guys from the UK have seen more of the country than I have. Time for me to do some bike packing. Thanks for the videos. You're absolutely right. We've seen a lot of gas stations. <laughs> We've done a lot. But you do end up seeing all the little places in between and the farm roads, some of those have been amazing and Cameron Highlands and all that. Like people would go to Cameron Highlands mm -hmm. but they'd miss a lot of the bits that we really enjoyed because mm -hmm. they just go straight there. Whereas do you remember we went through all that industrial bit on the back roads? Beautiful. And it was like, well it kind of, but it, it was, was, it was so unusual to yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are really lucky to see so much of this amazing country and uh, yeah I think we're going to leave it there. Tomorrow, oh, we've got to go cycling tomorrow. Our final day, guys. Oh. We're getting a grab. <laughs> yeah.